time bandits. I can't get my time back on my phone. So, 18 minutes left. <clears throat> I can only, can't get the time back. So, you know, all throughout your life, my life, I've been gang stalked. I didn't know it until I discovered it. Then, once I realize it happens, then, uh, you know, it's at a point where it's not even really, it's not even anything that's bothersome. It's not even the tactics themselves that even make a difference. It's more that it's consistent. So that's it. It's all about consistency of doing the same thing that is pointless in the world to do. Because that's what the devil loves to do. He loves to hide and do things in secret, out in the open. Secretly out in the open in your face. That's the spirit. So when I look at people who are in charge of the planet, like when I look at Stephen James as a King Nebuchadnezzar type, who uh, has eaten grass, you know, he doesn't smoke much of it, but he does eat it, just to symbolize that. Whether that's him or not, it sure seems like he's playing a good role for it. And then who else would be playing that role in? The things, the reason why he got judged is because of the pride that came out of his mouth. And for seven years, he has to learn that the Most High God rules. And you'll get your kingdom back. And then once you get your kingdom back, I, I think it's for the next, then you have a year left. You know, there's a debate whether King Nebuchadnezzar is actually saved and goes to heaven when he dies. And I remember Steve saying, he's been here about six or seven times. Now, why would you be here six or seven times? when you die and you come back again and again and again maybe this is the place that you rule so you come back but then uh, it could be that in the end you're just fed up with you're just done with trying to rule people and uh, like Lucifer in the series he he got to a point where you know what I don't even why am I even punishing people for like what's the point anymore But the Gang Stalking Corporation is straight Satan's... It, it's, his, it's his business. And he may do it in order to get you to turn back to God. But don't think for a second that he doesn't enjoy every single second of doing that very thing. The spirit of Satan. I'm not even talking about a person. I'm talking about the spirit of of Satan that can leave someone like King Nebuchadnezzar although he gets tormented by those very same demons that he was you know possessed by they wind up tor tormenting him in order to get him to turn back and recognize that God is the one that rules the, you know the spirit not a person, nobody, you don't see God, it's just a spirit. Because the spirit is what takes over. So, for any people that struggle with this, 
problem as you are aware of what gang stalking is if there's anybody out there that that is like that and it's irritating to you understand this and you have and you you, you know you curse in your head but you don't say it out loud but the instant thought the flesh is to curse at the person or you know satan or whatever understand this satan's goal in life is to torment you because that's why god created him to torment you until you get right and he'll even use nebuchadnezzar and torment him as he's like the figure of satan and then he becomes tormented by satan and then eventually the spirit of satan leaves him just like saul king saul when that spirit would torment him and then he would hear david play music to his ears and then that would calm him down for a little bit and he loved him and he hated him and he loved him and he hated him it was almost like he was bipolar and that reminds me of steve how he was towards me because i can tell someone's heart and then also i can tell your acting skills too so here's how I look at it. Tactics will always be done. And for those of you that have gone through it, and you can recognize it and you see it's just everywhere, it's everywhere. Understand that Satan's in control of that system. He will purposely do something to you because he already knows your future. He can watch your life before you do it and then send someone in your direction to, to you know, do a, a gang stalking tactic that he knows will bother you because he already seen you get bothered in the future by that very same tactic that was done. And that'll be repeated over and over and over again until you finally accept that your true reward is when your body dies and you go and you go home what you know it's not the greatest thing to it's not like oh that's so great to, to that's awesome no because you want to live a good life on earth but when you can just accept that that's a reality if nothing else and that same person that did the gang stalking tactics to you will be here again and again and again and repeat over and over and over again it'll get you by and also know this Satan will do those tactics to you on purpose and he'll also remind you of how sickening and irritating it is to see the same paper cut it's not even a big deal. It's just the fact that it's there and it's over and over again and again and again. So Satan will do the tactic because he's in charge of it. Then he'll remind you of how sickening it is of his tactic as he's effing himself. Because that's what this that's why you, you gotta understand what it means when you're told to go F yourself. It's already being done. So therefore, it's like, what I've learned is the spirit of Satan that works through his disobedient children is exactly that, a disobedient, childish spirit. So even the person named Satan ruling this world, eventually the person himself this, the physical body where do you go body Mr. Satan what happens to you well you get tired of yourself you know it could be the fact that there's two and it's a twin system and one twin is so sickened by the way that he is 
but his other brother is like the other thief on the cross that hasn't been converted yet. And the one twin's like, I, I'm so sick of being Satan. Like, you sicken me. And then changes and turns into Christ. So a house divided can't stand. So Satan can't stand himself. And that's only if it's this, just a half portion of Satan himself, like the double-headed phoenix. Like the two uh, on Jonathan Clegg's channel. It seems like there's always just one that pops up and is talking about, you know, uh, well, I heard that, you know, you're supposed to dress up like the other one and act like the other one and like the movie that John the Cleck was talking about. I, I don't remember the name of it, but the, the, the stunt double, the one guy that does all the work, the stunt double, and then the main character, the, like the Jacob Israel, the more famous one, the whole time wanted to kill the one that's doing all the work, like like the Jonathan Cleck that does all the work. So I envision, I envision that there's one Jonathan Cleck that does all the work, and then there's another one that hops up, hop, hops up, that hates my guts, or at least has hated my guts in the past, and still talks and acts, you know, like the Jonathan Cleck, but with a little bit of a twist and a subliminal threatening message to me all the time, regardless. And maybe that's purpose for me to discern it so I can catch both of yous and have yous both understand that you're only really fighting yourself. And the spirit of Satan is a childish, immature spirit that is a disobedient son of uh, who says I can do it better than you, Father? So there's that. When those thoughts pop in your head and you get irritated at a, at a tactic, understand that Satan is purposely doing that tactic in front of you. Then he will remind you of your irritation level of the tactic in order to get you to stay in a lower frequency. And also keep this in mind. The devils that fell from heaven, isn't that ironic? Fallen angels. How do you come from heaven as a devil on earth to torment people? It's almost like an oxymoron. But devils, I've learned through the YouTube platform, they know my future. They can do miracles, signs, and wonders. Like even Jacob Israel can walk me around down Center City, show me what I'm going to see before I see it live on the X app. Jonathan Click can do the same thing in a good way. Jacob could do it in an evil way or just a way of, hey, look, I can do the same thing like Pharaoh. Just to let you know that I can do the same thing. And just because you know my future doesn't mean you have an upper hand on me. It doesn't mean that you control me. It means that my future has already been done. It's already been... I'm stuck in a box traveling through time, and I know it. And I know the moment my body dies, I'm set free. And I could come back to Earth and torment the devils like Jonathan Cleck can do because I don't believe he's subjected to time through this time traveling situation so I could come back and meet somebody right before they're getting ready to do their gang stalking tactic to me and imitate their tactic to them right before they're getting ready to do it to me and then say is that what you were getting ready to do? <laughs> like the guy rolling his eyes at my wife. Real man, right? Real manly type of a gang stalker. But they know the future, but it doesn't mean you have the upper hand just because you know what I'm going to do. That just means you know your demise and exactly what time your demise is because I have already stomped it out. 
by knowing the secrets. All Satan can do is threaten you and try to put you in fear. And once you know the truth, it sets you free. And there ain't jack shit he can do. And that's the truth. He can, he can gang stalk you your entire life. But there's nothing he can do. You, you have to voluntarily give up your crown. You can be threatened all, all you know, chopping chops and choppity chop chop all you want, but being threatened is all Satan is. So I just found it ironic how fallen angels from heaven, right? Satan from heaven. How do you get to heaven and then all of a sudden you become a a liar or a, how do you or a, you know a sneak or whatever? How does that even happen? Because I've learned that certain people, even like Justin Michael. Something about him, I, I I always knew that he knew. It seemed like he knew what the future was, but it always seemed like a negative energy. Even though he was protruding positive energy, it just never seemed really legitimate to me. So, but people like that have, if that is true, they have this advantage, and that's the advantage talked about in the Bible. Those of you in surveillance, you have advantage. Because you already know what it's like to die. Because you already did. And to think that you went to heaven. And then you came down here. To become evil all over again. That would just mean that everybody that dies. Goes to heaven. And then you decide it's free will. Because Satan gets you. At first. In the flesh. Then you die. Then you go to the next level. And in me, the whole time you're here in this level down here in the pit in hell, you're told that hell is another place and you're going to die and be tormented there. I mean, I don't know. It's just something to think about when you're living your life as the devil torments you in your own mind because it really isn't anybody else doing it. Satan's doing it through them and then he'll remind you of how disgusted you are at evil and then he'll try to use that against you as a weakness. But yet, that's your greatest strength. 